Greetings and salutations, friends, and I hope you're all having a lovely Wednesday. This week, we're looking at a concise engine for you fusion fiends, the Predaplan engine. Clocking in at four cards in the main deck, these carnivorous carnations aim to search out a fusion card of your choosing, all at the low, low cost of your normal summon. Let's have a look at cards, how they work, and we add a little consistency to the engine. The engine consists of two main deck monsters, Predaplant Ophir's Scorpio and Predaplant Darlingtonia Cobra. Ophir's Scorpio, when normal or special summoned, can send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, then special summon one Predaplant monster from your deck except another copy of itself. The target for this effect is the aforementioned Darlingtonia Cobra. This Darling, dearest of all bricks, when special summoned, can add one polymerization or fusion spell from your deck to the hand. Not content with a once per turn clause, this effect can only be used once per duel. So, at its most basic, the play is Step 1 Normal summon off your Scorpio. Step 2 Discard a monster to special summon Darlingtonia Cobra. Step 3 Search whichever poly or fusion spell you so choose. And that's it. Short and sweet. So what can we do to boost the consistency of the engine? Two words. Lonefire Blossom. Lonefire Blossom was first printed back in Phantom Darkness, almost 13 years ago to the day. And if you're running plants, you're still running Lonefire Blossom. Its effect is as follows. Once per turn, you can tribute one face-up plant monster. Special summon one plant monster from your deck. The once per turn only applies to the copy of Lonefire that is activating its effect, so you can run three copies and cycle through them, getting them out of your deck before going into off your Scorpio. So what targets do we have with Cobra's Search? Well, a lot. All of the polymerizations, OG, Ultra, Greater, and Super. Spells with fusion in the name, fuck, there's a lot. Not counting banned cards, we have no, no, stop. This this isn't the Pokemon rap, okay? I love fusion. Absorb fusion. Destruction ancient swords, gear fusion. fusion dimension fusion. Destruction 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 Fusion Recycling Plant does only search a polymerization card, and not any fusion spell. Another factor is that this leaves you with two level 3 dark monsters on field. These can be linked off into a variety of linked to monsters, as well as providing material for a rank 3 Ixies, such as number 75 Bamboozling Gossip Shadow, to protect your plays going forward, as, let's face it, even though Gossip Shadow would be your 6th summon, nobody is Nibiruing a field of two Predaplant monsters. You could even go into number 49 Fortune Tune, which, if you're going second, or it's past the first turn, can get you into a Zeus with materials to activate its effect once, and we all know how good Zeus is. Obviously, the ratios here would be 3 Predaplant Ophir Scorpio, 1 Predaplant Darlingtonia Cobra, and if you have space and want the consistency boost, 3 Lonefire Blossom. And that sums up the Predaplant engine. If you desperately need access to a fusion card, this is the engine for you. So go forth friends, summon these hungry plants and make fusion monsters to your heart's content. Until next time, Treeborn Frog, checking out.